Welcome back to the Gun Dungeon, guys. Got some more 10 millimeter love for you here today. Hope you enjoy it. This is a little bit of a selfish video for me. This is the Underwood 180 grain XTP, advertised at 1300 feet per second. But the reason that it's a little selfish for me is these 40 caliber, which is what the 10 millimeter shoots, 40 caliber 180 grain XTP bullets are readily available and pretty cheap to reload. So I'm kind of testing this to see how these bullets do because I'll probably start reloading them if they do well and that'll probably be my carry load. But we have the ammo here for you as I showed you. We're gonna shoot some out of the XDM full size and we're gonna shoot some out of the Glock 29 shorter barrel. We have Gel Block Jerry, ready to ride the block. He may see some action today. We have the chronograph set up, four layers of denim ready to go. And without further ado, there ain't nothing else to say. Let's just put some bullets in some gel. I'm gonna start with the Glock 29 first. We'll do two shots of Glock 29, and then we'll go to the XDM. Unfortunately, I did not get a reading on that, but I'm going to say, looking at this wound track, let me set my backing back up here. Looking at this wound track, I don't think this bullet expanded because it went all the way into the second block, went 25 inches, and went out the bottom and through my table. I can't say for sure, but if I was a betting man, I'm going to bet that it did not expand and would have went probably out both blocks had it not went down and out through my table. But let me try another shot from the Glock 29. Maybe we'll get a chronograph reading and hopefully we'll catch a bullet. Y'all want to know something funny? I felt something hit my leg, and I've had this happen with actually 10 millimeter. I've had this happen before when a, when a bullet exits the side of the block. It's like the elasticity of the block shoots the bullet back at you. Found that laying right next to where my leg was, and that is an expanded XTP 10 millimeter bullet. So it did expand, it just came back at me, but there it is safety glasses. Finally, 1,153 feet per second. 150 feet approximately, 150 feet per second. Less than advertised velocity. Wound track. Don't look too bad. It's that one closest to you there. Not bad at all. And we caught a bullet right at 17 inches. Just starting into that second block. Can't see the bullet real well, but we'll dig it out when we're done here and take a look. But I'm not gonna complain with that wound track and that penetration depth seems pretty good. So now that we've got three bullets through the gel, before it gets too messed up, let's go ahead and try one from the XDM, see how that does. One thousand two hundred and sixty-three feet per second, so about a hundred, hundred feet per second faster. I uh, did not have my tape measure ready because I'm a goon. There we go, but so that wound track right there, a little darker colored one towards the top. Hopefully you can see it. That is from the XDM. 
Uh, XTPs aren't known for expanding a whole, whole lot, but all the wound tracks look very, very similar. Not bad, other than the one that didn't expand. But we're going, going, going. There's our bullet. That extra velocity with the XTP gave us 21 inches of penetration. So let's go ahead and try another one from the XDM, see how it does. One thousand two hundred and fifty. All right, and the wound track closest to you, right there. Best looking wound track of them all. Look at that bloom on that. Perfect expansion. Looks great. Looks great. Lines out. There's our bullet. Bullet is right at seventeen inches of penetration. So there we are. We got two caught bullets from the XDM, one from the Glock 29. All the wound tracks look pretty good out of, well, we got four shots in the block that expanded and one that did not. But let's take a look at the bullets that we caught. All right, guys, this is the one from the Glock 29. That is the first shot, the one that went the deepest from the XDM. And that is the last shot from the XDM. The expansion looks great on all of these. We know that one expanded. Let's see if I can grab it. I'll throw it right here. Here's the one that bounced back at me from the Glock 29. So the expansion, four out of five for sure, expanded. The two from the Glock 29 that expanded look really, really good. And the two from the XDM look really, really good. So, final conclusion. Clock 29, expanded bullet. XDM 4.5 inch barrel, expanded bullet, side by side. Can't really tell much difference. Uh, the velocities were a little lower than I actually thought they were gonna be from Underwood, typically. There'll be Underwood advertised velocities will be spot on, if not underrated on the box. But these tend to, well, looked like they were a little bit low. Maybe a full five inch barrel will give you the 1300 feet per second. I don't know. Uh, I'll probably play with this. I'll probably get some of these bullets, play with them for the hand loads. And if I can get at or above these velocities with hand loads, I'll carry them. I would carry these, no problem. I would carry these. I'm just not gonna buy these because they're expensive. If I can hand load them and they're XTPs and they're available to hand load, that's just me. But if you're not a hand loader, these are an excellent bullet to, to carry in my opinion. The 180 grain gold dots do well too, and you can get those bullets to reload as well. But I have tested the 180 grain Underwood gold dots. They did really, really well. If you haven't watched that video, go check it out. But that's what I got for you today, guys. If you want to support the channel, the best way to do that is subscribe to Patreon. Link is down below. Get some behind the scenes content. Just done up behind the scenes today, actually. Uh, you get also early content, direct access to me, which really ain't no big deal. I'm just old fat boy from East Kentucky. But it's easy to talk to me on there if you have any questions, comments, concerns. Uh, certain tiers you get to like vote on what videos will be coming up to do, stuff like that. It's pretty cool. And it supports the channel. But anyways, hope you liked the video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Till next time, guys, stay tuned.